Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to use the sequence container in SSIS to run the task in parallel. I will be loading data from a CSA file to a SQL Server table and then I will be creating indexes on the SQL Server table. So there are around 6 indexes that I will be going to create. So instead of creating 6 indexes in a single execute SQL task, I will be creating the indexes in 3 different tasks. and those three tasks will run parallel. So first task will create two indexes, another task will create two and the third one will also create two and all these three tasks will run in parallel. So for example if your table has huge data for example maybe 50 millions or 100 millions of records and if you want to and if you wanted to create uh, you know several indexes on the table then you know instead of creating the indexes sequentially you can create them in parallel so the parallel processing will reduce the total time taken by the process to create the indexes another example of using the sequence container can be that you know suppose if you want to load three or four different files of different formats so you can put the individual data flow task that will load data for a particular format of file so you can put all those data flow tasks inside a sequence container and that task that sequence container will help you to execute the data flow task in parallel. So for this particular example, I will be dropping and creating this particular table test data. So let me just, you know, refresh that. This particular table should not have any data in, in it. So if you will execute this, so this table doesn't have any data. And you can also check that this table also doesn't have any indexes as well on the, in it. So this table also doesn't have any indexes. So we will be loading data from this particular table, test data, to the SQL Server database table. So and then we will be creating the, these indexes in the parallel using the sequence container. So let's first of all let's uh, drag and drop the execute SQL task, and it, this task will actually clean the table. So let me just make a connection to the SQL Server database table. My server name is Ahmad and the database name is testing. And then let me put this particular code here so that it can recreate the table every time the, the package will run and my another task will actually load the data to a SQL server table from CSV file load data. So this particular task will actually read data from a flat file. So let's let me browse to the file, the CSV file. CSV files, okay, and then you can preview data here as well. And then the test, the destination will be the SQL Server table. So just double click on it and then choose the table. So this is the test data table. Okay, so now SSI package is fine to load the data. Okay, so now we need to create the indexes in parallel. So let's drag and drop the sequence container and then connect the load data with the sequence container and now drag and drop the execute SQL task make a copy of it to and make a cop make another copy as well so now we have three tasks index 1 index 2 and then index 3 so for the first task, make a connection to the testing database and then copy first two indexes here. And then for the second task, make a connection to the database and then copy the second create index script. And then for the third task, make a connection to the database and then paste the third script as well and now you can put all these three tasks inside the sequence container 
so as long as these tasks are not you know connected with each other these tasks will run in parallel create indexes in parallel okay so this is very helpful to you know to to perform the task in parallel so let's execute this particular ssis package so first of all it will clean the table and then it will load some data into the sql server table and after that the task will be run in the in parallel this is very helpful to reduce the overall time taken by the ssis package so now let's go back to the sql servers and then you know you can verify that initially we are not having any data inside the table and we are not having the indexes as well so if you will click so if you will check that now we should have six indexes on the table so now you can see that now we have six indexes so you know this is how we can use the sequence container in ssis for parallel processing thanks guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos on ssis and other technologies thank you so much